In this problem, we're being asked to evaluate some functions. In this case, f of x is an absolute value function because it has these absolute value uh, brackets here. Uh, g of x is a rational function because we've got a variable on the bottom of a fraction. And h of x is a radical function because we've got a, a radical sign here with the variable underneath the radical sign. But none of that should really bother us because evaluating a function just means to plug the number in. So when it says f of 12, you plug 12 in for x inside the function, and you just crunch out the numbers. So none of this should be too hard. Let's try f of 12 first. So we have the absolute value of negative 17 minus 3 fourths. And in place of x, I'll just put in 12, so times 12. Well, 3 fourths times 12, that's like 12 divided by 4 times 3. So that 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 3 is 9. So this is really the absolute value of negative 17 minus 9, which is the absolute value of negative 26, which is positive 26, because of course the absolute value of a negative number is the positive number. So this is just 26. Let's try this rational function next, g of 3. So let me rewrite it down here. We'll have 12 plus 3 cubed instead of x cubed. And that's over 3 cubed. So 3 cubed is 27. So 12 plus 27 over 27. So that is 39 27 And let's see. I think we can divide both of those by 3, right? So that would be 13 ninths. And I think that's as simple as we get it. So this one is 13 ninths. All right, let's try the radical function next. h of 2, so in h of x, we put in 2 for x here. So this is going to be the square root of 14 minus 10, which is the square root of 4, which is 2. So this one is 2. So that is how to evaluate some absolute value, rational, and radical functions.